The GMC Sierra has always been a frustrating truck to me. It's not frustrating because it's bad or because of any fault of its own. It's frustrating because General Motors just refuses to give it the attention it deserves. As soon as it gets one cool thing, the Silverado will have it within a generation. And really, they just don't give this truck the love it needs, especially in a time when luxury trucks are booming. So today we're gonna to take a look at this GMC Sierra and with General Motors releasing an electric pickup under the Hummer name in GMC's lineup very soon, we're gonna see if this truck can keep up and still keep competing. Thank you all so much for watching. A big thanks to Coon Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville for letting us review this GMC Sierra. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing so we can review more cool trucks like this. Let's get into it. Looking at the front, there isn't too much to talk about here other than the chrome on chrome on chrome on chrome. It's a lot of chrome, but it's a luxury truck, so that's somewhat to be expected. You do have these really cool C-shaped headlights. They look really aggressive. I think this probably is the best looking General Motors front end for a truck. And you have your nice tow hooks down here. Overall, just a really nice premium looking design. Let's see if that carries around to the side. Looking here at the side of the vehicle, you do have that $1,095 white frost tricoat metallic paint. Uh, it looks a little plain, looks pretty similar to some of the work trucks that are much cheaper than this. So that is a big price tag. But what's much cooler than that is deployable running boards. I love how higher end trucks are almost always getting these running boards. It's just such a cool feature and it adds a really premium automated touch to the vehicle. Breaking up this white color, you do have some nice chrome right here on your handles and you do have the keyless entry just press this button to unlock it or lock the vehicle looking down at your wheels you have these 20 inch aluminum wheels they have really nice chunkiness to them uh, they just look really premium they have lots of texture they come out they push in really like the look of these and you have a big duramax turbo diesel badge on the side we will be talking a bit more about this when we get around to the powertrain your mirrors right here you do have power mirrors and of course you do have your blind spot warning in these we'll talk a bit about safety later uh, they're nice wide for towing so that is excellent to see and you do have an led turn signal in there cater in there overall it's just a really nice side profile i love the slight slope to the roof you do have a capitalist fuel filler right here this is diesel of course overall really really good looking looking at the rear of the vehicle you do have this nice easy step right here to help you get in you do have parking sensors you have all your trailer attachments right here it's really nice they don't hide them under the vehicle that is an excellent feature you have these nice led taillights they are the c so they kind of match the c up front that is excellent to see but this all this doesn't really matter because the star of the show is this yes this does have the gmc multi pro tailgate so what is that you ask well if you haven't seen it it's an easy way to get in the truck and it has all sorts of new usability. So let's say that you have some long wood beams, you can fold down half the tailgate and now you can have them slide out over there nice and easy. That's very cool. Let's say you wanted to keep stuff in, well, you can pull up this little flap right here. Now you have a nice barrier right here, but it can do more than that. Let's say you want to get in your truck. Well, that's easy. You can use it like a normal tailgate, deploy the baby tailgate simultaneously and now you have a step that can support around 300 pounds. So it makes for a nice, easy entry to the vehicle. Personally, I think that Ford has a better system only because Ford's system is quicker to use. There's not as much complexity involved, but this definitely can do more than that system. So this isn't as practical, but it is more capable. Uh, you do have the bed liner right here. This does not have the carbon pro bed. You can get a carbon fiber bed on GMC pickup trucks, which is absolutely insane. A fun little uh, fact about that is when GMC wanted to test the scratch resistance, they put a snowmobile against the back of the truck and they ran it on full RPM to try to scratch the bed and were unable to. So if you're afraid of your carbon fiber bed gang scratch, no worries if you go for that option. Back here, you do have some nice LED bed lighting. You also have a nice power outlet for your tools. This does have the bed liner in it and you have a bunch of cargo tie down points around the vehicle. You also have two cameras back here. One of them is gonna be acting as your rear view mirror. We'll see when we get in there. And the other one is a camera just to see your cargo and check on it. Really a lot of features going on here. Probably the best bed in the industry right now with all the available features. Now in here, we have a three liter I6 turbo diesel Duramax engine. That's gonna be around a two and a half thousand dollar option. You can expect around 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. 
Remember, this is a diesel, so you're gonna have 95% of that torque available at just 1,250 RPM. That is super impressive. In terms of towing capacity and payload capacity, that's gonna vary depending on how you configure your cab, your bed, and your trim. But generally, with this engine, your payload capacity is gonna be a bit below 2,000 pounds or in the 2,000 pound range, and your towing capacity is gonna be a bit over 9,000 pounds. Let's talk about the trims available for your Sierra. Starting at $37,260, the base Sierra trim, it is like un an unnamed Sierra trim, uh, will get you a seven inch touchscreen inside and it's gonna get you black plastic trim around the exterior. At just under $42,000, the SLE trim is gonna get you more body colored exterior trim, nicer looks to it outside and inside, and you're gonna get a power locking and damped tailgate. At just under $45,000, the Elevation is more of an appearance package, getting you a nice blacked out look. The SLT starts at around $48,500, and you're gonna get some chrome exterior elements, a leather interior, and you're gonna get some more standard trailering equipment. At $55,295, the AT4 is a more off-road focused vehicle. It's gonna get you a two inch factory lift. It's also gonna get you a multi-pro tailgate and the available Carbon Pro bed. And then at over $56,000 is the top of the line Denali trim like we have here today. It's gonna get you over 15 different camera views, continuously adaptive damping ride control, and it's also gonna get you a nice big heads up display. And now you join me here on the interior of the GMC Denali. Uh, apologies for any AC noise. It is a scorching 98 degrees right now as we film this. But the interior here is miles above the Silverado we were just in, and it should be because this truck is nearly 30 grand more than that truck. Uh, but really everything in here, you have nice soft touch materials all along here. You have nice soft touch just about everywhere, which is super awesome to see. You have these nice wood accents with the nice metal chromey look around them, which is absolutely excellent to see. Uh, you just, all your switch gear feels wonderful. We'll dive deeper into this later, but when we talk about the actual ergonomics and design of the interior, it is definitely a thumbs up from me. In terms of the seats, they are very stiff, but the leather feels good on them. They are power adjustable, which is good to know. And legroom in the front is great as to be expected. So just know that the seats are stiff, but they are heated and cooled. Looking here at your steering wheel, the leather does not feel that good and it is very thin, but if you can get over that, there's a lot to like here. You do have the heated wheel. Your controls are nice and easy to get to. They feel fantastic. They're nice and tactile. This controls that big screen right there. We'll get to that in a second though. I really like how they print out Denali instead of Sierra right here. It's cool how they remind you, you went up to the highest trim. Really nice chrome outline there. Now let's talk about your center area. You have this nice big screen, definitely competitive with competitors like the Ram, which is good to see. You can see your navigation, your music, your phone, any sort of information you need to see is gonna be on here and it's all super easy to access which is very, very nice. And uh, like things like your diesel emission fluid, knowing that is excellent through the screen. Now, real quick, let's talk about your gauges right here or your buttons right here, excuse me. You do have some nice trailer control buttons and controls for your four wheel drive system and your lights. They have chromed out here uh, just to give it a bit of a nicer look. I like how they gave it the stitching around as well. That's also where your parking brake is gonna be. Uh, visibility is pretty good. I'll show you a clip of me getting in. It does look very good. You have a nice thin A pillar so you can easily see out. Overall, a very good design. Looking here at the front, we do have that nice large heads up display. It gives you your safety information, your speed, the speed limit, and any cruise control information. So it's just a nice clear display. I know it's probably not showing up as well on camera, but in person, it looks absolutely excellent. And now I'm gonna show you the mirror real quick because this is a super cool feature that high-end General Motors products are getting. You can see it is a regular mirror right now, but pull this and you have a camera looking out the back. This is great if your rear window is blocked or whatever. Uh, so having that feature is very, very nice. The screen is nice, high definition and clear. Very cool feature. 
Also a very cool feature if we move down to your eight inch infotainment right here, it is very snappy. If you saw our Chevy Silverado video, we hypothesized that the screen there was slow because of the heat. But as you can see, it's 98 degrees right now and this is nice and snappy. So I'm not sure what the difference is. As far as I know, it is the exact same unit. So it might just be a, that single unit or something else was going on. Uh, but this does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And here's a really cool feature. There is a wireless charger in this vehicle. And you can see right now, you see your telephone. If you place your phone on the wireless charger, the telephone will change to show that it's charging. So that is a really cool feature. Uh, overall, two thumbs up for this system. You do have a lot of camera angles in this vehicle. I just want to show you a few of interest. You can see we have your 360 camera here with turn guidance. So as I turn, it will show you where the vehicle is headed. That is an excellent feature to have. Uh, all your cameras are very high def. You can see we have a front facing camera right here, but we can put it to a sort of a drone shot. It doesn't work that well, but it's better than nothing. Uh, and then you have your bed camera I mentioned earlier. So you can see right into your bed. That is very, very cool. Definitely a very useful system for such a large truck. And looking at your switch gear here, these knobs, they I like how they have the lights around like that and they have the temperature in the dial. What I don't like is how they put this cheap plastic chrome on here. I think it feels much more premium with the rubber in the Chevys than this fake plastic chrome right here. This just feels cheap. It doesn't feel good to turn. So that is just something to note. You have nice easy buttons to reach to control your climate right there. Uh, what I really like are these switches down here. These feel amazing. I think the Mustang was the first to do them. Now the Rams and the Chevy trucks are doing them and they feel absolutely excellent when you press some nice tactile click. You can easily turn off your auto start stop. Uh, and then something else I wanna point out, just a fun little quirk of this vehicle is in this picture, you have a car, but in this picture, you have a truck. And in this picture, you have an SUV. Uh, General Motors, someone must have gotten confused when deciding which buttons to put on this car, but that's okay. You have your trailer brake controls right here and then lots of IO down here. You can see you have a nice full-size power outlet, a nice cigarette lighter right there, and then a USB-A and USB-C port with the wireless charging pad down there that we talked about earlier and a nice coin storage spot. Looking down here, you have a really clean design. You have this nice chrome outline of your cup holders and a nice place maybe you could put a phone or some snacks right there. You do have a really nice perforated and solid leather look right here. I love how they do that together with the piping and the stitching. Excellent look, nice soft armrest. Pulling this up will reveal a decent amount of storage space, not class leading, but certainly enough for just about any reasonable need you would have for this area. You do have the world's weakest LED light to try to light up this area. And then you have a USB-A, USB-C port, and you have an aux port right there, along with an SD card for your navigation. Here we are in the rear and this is a great place to be. The seats here actually feel a bit softer than the seats in the front. The leather feels really, really good. The seats here have these cool little storage cubbies that you can pull out, which is really, really awesome. So you have some nice hidden storage right there. You can also pull out this middle cubby right here, which snaps down and gives you a really good armrest and cup placement. That is a really excellent thing to see. You could definitely fit three people here. The seats are nice and wide. You do have outboard heated seats. Let's talk about some of your other amenities. You have a USB-C port, a USB-A port, a cigarette lighter, and two vents back here. So it is really, really nice to see that. Also a nice amenity back here is you have a sliding rear window, which is awesome to see. And you have plenty of headroom back here. Plenty of room, plenty of amenities. If you have three passengers back here, they will be happy. And here's a little bonus for you all before we sign off. One really cool feature of this truck, how about a cooled charger? Yes, the wireless charger here has some sort of AC coolant flowing through it so that when your phone is sitting on it, it does not get hot. This is cool to the touch and your phone is cool when you take it off. That is a really, really cool feature I've never thought of, wanted, or seen before, but now it's gonna be something I want in every single vehicle. So when I look at this Sierra, I see potential. I see attention to detail, I see quality materials, but that's a lot of stuff that the Chevy Silverado High Country has too. 
Things like the Carbon Pro bed, the special tailgate, the cooled wireless charger, stuff like that should remain exclusive to this. And I think General Motors should start really giving this truck more features to cater to that luxury truck market because that makes a lot of sense right now. There's really no other truck dedicated to luxury and buyers are looking at luxury trucks right now. So being the only brand with a dedicated luxury truck makes a lot of sense. So they have a very promising thing right here. I hope it doesn't get ruined or lost when the new Hummer electric pickups come out. By the way, we will definitely review one of those as soon as we can get our hands on one. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best. Let us know if you like this video, how we can improve. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And a huge thanks to Coon Chevy Buick GMC of Clarksville for letting us take a look at this vehicle. A link to their website will be in the description below. Have an awesome week, guys. We will see you in next week's video.